Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to connect your IP camera to your computer and configure it using CMS software. So I have my IP camera here. I connected the board to the PoE board, which basically takes uh, the power that comes through this cable and uh, the power is 48 volts and steps it down to 12 volts that this camera needs. As you can see, I don't really even have the lens on it yet, but I'm going to get to that later. Um, so what you want to do is have your POE injector ready. And if, if you can take a look here, you see that there are, there are two ports. There's the LAN port and the POE port. So the cable that goes from the LAN port, um, I connect that cable into my computer. And this blue cable, the POE um, cable, I'm going to connect that into my camera. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug this into the wall. And then I'm going to take the blue cable and connect it into the camera here. And after a few moments, you can see the light starts blinking green. So that basically means that this is connected, the camera has been connected, and then everything is fine. As you can see, it continues to blink. That's a good sign. So I'm just going to put this whole contraption aside. And then we're going to configure our network so we can talk to the camera. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to start and we're going to start typing network status. And we're going to open this. So I'm running Windows 10. You should have probably a similar uh, thing under Windows 7 if you're still using that. So once this opens, we're going to press change adapter options. And then we're going to find our Ethernet adapter. So you can see it says unidentified network, and but obviously there's something connected to it, and that's our camera. Um, if you're getting network cable unplugged, you should check the connection, and probably your camera, the, the light on the cable won't blink. So I'm going to assume that your camera is connected well. What we're going to do now is we're going to right click and press properties. And this will open another window. And what we have to do is we have to go to Internet Protocol version 4, double click. And here we have to adjust some um, network settings. If your settings are not obtained an IP address automatically and you're connecting to your um, internet um, using a LAN cable, what you want to do is you just want to write these settings down. And once we're done, you want to go back and put them back in. Assuming that you have the same window as I do, I'm just going to continue and I'm going to use um, set these uh, settings manually. So when the, this camera comes out of the factory, uh, the default IP address is 192.168.110. So what we have to do is we have to put our network adapter, our Ethernet adapter, to the same subnet. So we'll be able to talk to this camera. And the way we can do this is we can give this machine um, the IP address on the same sub subnet, but it can't be the same IP address as the camera. So I'm going to do 192.168.1 and 5. So keep in mind the IP camera is uh, 192.168.110, and I just chose 5 for this um, this device. So subnet mask, I'm just going to click on it, it's going to set automatically and I'm not going to set anything else. This is going to be enough. So I'm going to press OK. OK once more and then we can just close this. Now I'm going to run CMS uh, that I already installed. Uh, you can find the link to the CMS um, installation exe file in the description. So I'm just going to look up CMS, and it's already installed here. So I'm going to open it. CMS takes some time to open, uh, and if it asks you for 
uh, some user info just don't put anything in just press OK and it will log in so you don't have to put in a password or anything and you'll pre be presented with, with a window similar to this one and what we have to do now is we have to add our camera to CMS so you can see it as a device so we're gonna go to system and here we're gonna go to device manager I already have a lot of zones uh, so I guess the zone in CMS is just a way to organize your cameras. Um, just to show you how it works, uh, at the beginning you won't have anything, but I'm going to just create a new zone, uh, which I'm going to call test. And it will appear here. So I have to click on the zone. So I'm going to add a new camera. Uh, so I'm going to press add device. And here, as device name, I'm just going to put test. IP cam and uh, I'm going to keep uh, IP address as the login type and as the IP address we're going to put 192.168.1.10 because that is the factory IP address of the camera. As the port we're going to put 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So basically from 3 to 7 and that's it. And now we press OK and it found it. It's right here, it says test IP camera. I'm gonna press OK. And it also appeared in the list here, so you can see it down here. Test IP cam. I'm gonna double click. And here it shows the video stream. So I can double click here and it just shows nothing much. But uh, when I take this camera in my hand and just put my hand over the sensor, you can definitely see that it goes dark and just kind of tries to adjust the, the levels and, and, and stuff. It just becomes it becomes white if I put it near the window. So what we're going to do now is we have to adjust some camera settings. So it's actually good for, um, for uh, low light observations. So I'm going to press system again. I'm going to go to remote config and here I'm going to open test IP cam and there are quite a bit of settings that I have to adjust so what you have to do is click on this cog says system and we can go to tab general so here um, the camera does have a time and everything you might want to change it to UTC or whatever but it's not really that important you can just leave it as it is but I, I like to set it to UTC for good measure. And that's basically it that we have to do here. Uh, the video standard is PAL. Um, that's not really important if you're in North America or, or anywhere else. This just basically regulates the number of frames per second you can get out of it. But that's basically, we're going to have 25 frames per second. That's what we want. So then we can go to encode. And there are a couple of settings that we have to change here. Uh, because the Raspberry Pi can't handle H.265 videos, we have to change this to H.264. And we have to change the resolution from 1080p to 720p. And keep the FPS at 25. Uh, the bit rate, we can keep it a variable and set the quality to best. And one other thing is that this section here is for the video substream we have to uncheck this little thing here because otherwise we will not be getting the full 25 frames per second we will only be getting about 20 and we don't really use this video stream we keep everything else as it is then we press ok and it will ask us that the camera needs to be rebooted we're gonna say no I'm gonna do that at the end the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust the network um, so, when you connect the camera to your Raspberry Pi, it will expect different IP address from this. It will expect an IP address of 192.168.42.10. So we have to go in and change this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to uncheck this DHCP enable and change this to 42. And gateway, we're also going to change to 42. Everything else can basically stay the same and we're gonna re recheck the HCP enable and as the transfer policy we're gonna set fluency preferred 
and that's about it. I'm going to click OK. And what it's going to do now, it's going to say that the IP address of the camera changed and we have to log in again. Network device has changed, please re-lock the device. So what we have to do now is we can't access the camera anymore. We have to go back to our network settings. So network status. And change adapter options. And again, choose Ethernet, right click, properties, and Internet Protocol version 4, double click, and just very simply change this one into 42. We press OK, OK again, and that's basically it. I'm going to close this. So we're back in CMS and now we have to change the IP address of our camera. So we're going to go back to device manager and open test IP cam and press modify here. And very simply we're just going to change this IP address from this one to 42. Everything else stays the same. We press OK and there we go. And now we go to test IP cam, we open it and we connect it to our camera again but now it has a different IP address. So what we're gonna do again is go to system, remote config, and configure some other settings. So again, we're gonna to go to uh, this test IP cam, press on the cog. We did the network. We don't really have to do anything in that service, but we have to do something in GUI display. And here, we're just gonna get rid of all these uh, timestamps in the video because they're just going to interfere with the detection and everything. So I'm just going to uncheck every single thing here and press OK. And that's it. Ask me to restart. No, I'm not going to do that. There's nothing to do under PTZ config and RS232. Uh, we're just going to proceed to camera parameters and this is basically the most important part so everything that we set here is going to regulate how our final video will look like the first thing we have to do is we have to set the exposure now you would think that you want a manual exposure here but actually with this camera that doesn't really work so what we're going to do is we're just going to set the minimum and the maximum time in milliseconds and if we want to 25 frames per second uh, one frame will be exposed for 40 milliseconds. So I'm going to put 40 here. There we go. Uh, day night mode, we're going to set that to black and white. BLC, we're going to set to close. We don't want that. Auto iris closed. White balance, we're going to set to outdoor. AE reference, it basically regulates how the automatic gain control uh, just changes the gain across the image. Uh, and we're going to put that to 100%, so it always uses uh, very, very high gain. Um, image style, we're going to set that to style 2, which seems to have very little um, noise reduction, which eats the meteors away, and we don't want that. Uh, DNC threshold, we want to set that to actually uh, max. Everything else is enclosed. AE sensitivity, we want to set that to 1. That's basically um, the sensitivity of uh, gain change, and we want to keep that at 1. We don't want the gain to change. AGC is automatic gain control, and we want to leave that to open. And for this camera, we found that um, 60 works really well. So it's still, you get a lot of sensitivity, but not a lot of noise. Uh, we got to turn off the slow shutter. Slow shutter basically just integrates several integrates several frames, and it appears that the image looks better, but actually the frames per second you're getting are lower, and it's not really good for meteors. Uh, day anti-level and night anti-level, that's noise reduction. Uh, we're going to put that to zero. We don't want any of that stuff. And that is it. 
So now when we press OK, you'll actually see that the image turns to black and white and just becomes completely white. And the final thing that we have to adjust uh, is the brightness of this image. So what we can do is we can just right click on this video and press color setting. This will open another window and here we're going to set the brightness to 100. We're going to leave the contrast on 50, uh, set the saturation to 0, uh, and the vertical and horizontal sharpness we're going to, to set this to 0. We don't want any of that stuff. And that is basically it. And so we're going to press OK and we're done with, configura with configuring our camera. So we can just reboot it, connect it into the Pi, and that should be it.